In this video we are playing Find the Yippies. So the first little point about this game that's slightly annoying for a mobile user as you just saw me do it there is the kind of sprint and the menu button are really close to where you have to move so if you are playing on a mobile device you will find that you'll accidentally press those buttons quite a lot and um, it's really helpful when they're kind of in the top right hand corner away from our buttons the map isn't overly big for this game, um, but I have still enjoyed this one. I'll be interested to see what the two coming soon areas are. This will be a relatively quick game because there's not that many yippies at the moment. If you do get stuck with any of the yippies, um, do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button and it is still red, Please can I ask you to help support my channel and never miss one of my videos by making that button grey. So we've got a red button on the floor, um, slightly off-putting when it doesn't say like red or kind of doesn't do much. Um, I didn't hear anything clicking either, um, so I don't know if I'd pressed it or not. That is the start of the rainbow or the cartoony yippee and it is a sequential order so when you hit the red button you then get the next button appear and so on and so on through the colours. <laughs> this bloody code door. <laughs> um, I looked everywhere for a code or a mass problem or something. So I literally just stood there and decided that I was just going to type in numbers. I was going to give myself to three or four hundred. The code 288 is the code that you need to put in here. So I didn't quite get to 300. But you will get locked in this room. So you just have to reset your character to get back out. Here is the next button in the rainbow one, the cartoony, which is orange. And we are making our way around the kind of desert map now. Black is our next colour on top of the pyramid. Not very rainbow colour, it would be in my rainbow, I love the colour black. Um, but not one that I was expecting to find for a rainbow one. I'm going to have to get one of the kids on um, just to try and help me get teamwork. Um, so for now that one is going to remain unclaimed, but it is there. In order to get to the pyramid you need to pick up the pickaxe. And for this, I would say kind of slowly walk in, um, get teleported, but then stop because you will keep hitting that button to come back out again. Slightly annoying, but we've managed to make it. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna show you me aimlessly wandering around this maze. I hate mazes, and what's even worse is that this one's kind of semi in the dark. So you need to find this wall where it says dig it up and you'll get emerald UP. And all I did was literally follow the same wall. It's the same principle I applied to all mazes. Just follow the one wall round, round and round and round the maze. Um, and eventually you should find everything you need to find in there. So we've got this lava crossing. So what I didn't realise on my first trip around the maze is there are these kind of like little buttons. You need to press those 
Um, there are three of them in total around the maze. This one is for the Boohoo Yippee. And there is the second button. The third button will spawn where the lava crossing was. So we've just got to make our way back round to there. This door will then appear and we are transported in and it's basically just avoid the spinning object. If you do happen to hit one, you will get transported to spawn. How do I know that? Because I hit one, but with the power of editing, it's gonna look like I made this all the way through first time. <laughs> um, but the door does stay open, so you don't have to go around and press all the buttons as long as you stay in the same server. And you will just see the kind of slightly translucent platforms there. Zooming out just helped me find where the next one was. They came a bit more visible. Moving around into the city now. And there is a quest to catch all the cats. If we click on the button for the cola machine, it will then give you the vending yippee or yip cola. You will need someone else, I think, for this one. I did try and get up there myself. Luckily that player hung around to give me a boost up there, so I was able to get the traffic EP. What I failed to see the first time in the ice cream parlour is there's a sneaky little ice cream hidden down the side of the machine. If you click on that we are teleported and this is to collect all the keys from Neapolitan. And as you can see, the key will open up the door, but we've still got to get strawberry and chocolate key. It was then that I realised, oh, I can just run on this. It's not going to kill me. <laughs> but we'll do it properly. And we've got the strawberry key. As a bit of a hack, you can actually just drop down onto the chocolate floor. You can still jump onto this column at the end. 
So if you fall off, don't worry, you don't necessarily have to do this obby. As you can see, my beautiful obby skills failing me there. To get back on the other side, you do need to be on that railing. So now we have all three keys, we can make our way through the locked doors. Would have helped if I would have checked the index, but hidden down in the strawberry obby is strawberry yippee. So on top of the developer house we have a code, if you go into the index the hint is gibberish, however this is actually an anagram so if we talk about solar we are talking about sunlight. Now it does need to be all in lowercase as I just found out. So we are on the quest now to find all the cats. So the first one that I found is on the tree. The yellow button for the cartoon rainbow one has appeared by the lake. Cat number three is by the obby for the tree yippee. It was weird how none of them came up in the city, but there's only three cats that you need to get. Um, could have been a bit more challenging if there was more cats. But the yippee actually appears outside of this where you find cartoon yippee. If we click on the TV, and you do just have to wait a moment and be patient. The yippee will appear on the screen. And this is another one where you're gonna have to be patient, but you just basically have to stand in front of what looks like these mirrors. I'm not sure how long you have to stand there because obviously I did move, um, but just literally keep standing there. I promise you, you will see. <laughs> I'm not trolling you right now. You do feel pretty silly standing there. I was about to go. And there we go, fish eye does eventually appear. And then in the floor of what I'm going to say is the barber shop, you can also find missing texture.
if we make our way through the broken windows and you can see bomb up on the back of the sign there not one i would have potentially put in the city <laughs> Um, that's a bit of a dodgy one for me and it's also on the back of the sign that says nukes for kids um, I would perhaps change that I don't I'm not quite comfortable with that one <laughs> so we have a couple of ones that we have to put in the chat so if you emote laugh we get teleported through to go and get nerdy tea If we type rage into the chat, angry does appear by the pool, but you're going to have to be quick. So it's probably worthwhile typing it in the chat whilst you're on that podium. So obviously teamwork, I will come back and get. So I could only get to yellow. Um, I don't know where the next colour is to then spawn the next colour. Um, I've looked everywhere. I've looked all around the city for that one. And then the plug one says that it's been removed. So there's two that I didn't find. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.